Hey everybody, Mike here with EverythingAboutConcrete.com. In today's video, I'm going to show you how we pour a beginner garage floor. This is a 16 foot by 22 foot garage floor. This is something that, if you know, after watching some of my videos, I think you guys could probably do yourself. So that's why we're bringing you this video. It's a great starter concrete floor for you beginners out there. Now, in case you guys don't know me, my name's Mike Day. I own Day's Concrete Floors Incorporated. And this is my YouTube channel, Mike Day, everything about concrete. This is the kind of stuff I show you on this channel. How to pour concrete slabs, how to pour floors, stamp concrete, uh, concrete repair, everything to do with concrete. So if you like that kind of stuff, you know, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. I also have a lot of extra stuff we put on my Facebook page up there. You can see it if you search at everything about concrete. You can, uh, you can you know, be a member of my Facebook page and learn all kinds of extra stuff on there also. So what we're doing now is, you know, we're backing the concrete truck in. We're getting it ready. I'm putting a bag of calcium chloride in, in today. It's, it's a pretty chilly day out. It's about 50 degrees. It's cloudy. It's kind of damp. And the concrete temperature in the truck is usually about 60 degrees. So, and then once you dump it on the ground, it starts cooling down from there. So if you don't add any accelerator to it on a day like today, you're going to be there all day long finishing this stuff. And at, you know, as a business, you can't be there all day and into the night trying to get a finish on it. So a bag of calcium is going to help it dry a little bit quicker. We're probably pouring about a five, between a five and a six inch slump. And that's a pretty good workable slump. I work, I'm working for the general contractor on this job. This isn't my job. He just hires me to come in and pour the floor. And they didn't want any wire mesh in this, but we did put fiber mesh in the concrete. So it's got fiber mesh for reinforcement, but no wire in this garage. As you can see, it's got a crushed rock for a sub base. So what we're doing is we're just pouring out the concrete and now we're magging our edges. We do have a chalk line, a blue chalk line snapped around there for our grade and we mag our pads to that blue chalk line so we're getting all the concrete poured out we pour out something this small we pour out just about the whole thing before we stop and start straight edging you can see that's me there magging the edge right now so we'll get our edges magged and get the concrete kind of fine graded kind of tuned in pretty close and then we can just grab the straight edge and use those magged edges as our guide to straight edge the floor. And we're kick screeding this, so we're slightly walking backwards and kicking our boots to fill in our boot holes as we straight edge. Now you guys can just, if, if you can't kick screed, you can just pull the straight edge three or four times and stop, set back, pull it again three or four times and stop and set back. That's, that's one way of learning. It doesn't take very long to pour a garage like this. This, this garage took five yards of concrete. So we're getting it poured out. This is a 3500 PSI concrete too with a, like I said, fiber mesh in it. So we'll get it all screeded out and then we can run the bowl float over it. And the bowl float's gonna smooth that out, push those rocks down, bring up the cream and the paste and make it nice and easy to finish. I, I do have another video about power troweling. If you guys want to learn about that, I'll have that video uh, at the end of this one. So you can you can click on that one and watch if you want to see how we power trowel floors. As you can see, that bowl float makes it nice and smooth. Again, guys, if you like these kind of videos, go ahead down there and hit subscribe now. And, and don't forget to, to check out that Facebook page so you can learn about all kinds of other information on concrete. I have a little bit of different information on there sometimes. And if you guys are looking to get into this business, I mean, I'm, I'm always putting out videos about learning concrete. And if you need any of these tools, I'll have there's, a, there's links for them down in the description, guys. You can check them out down in those links. I also have another beginner concrete floor for you guys to watch. So check that video out. And thanks for watching, guys.